Will they be the return of the former Saints like Johnny Gat? Jim, Kenzie, I don't know how much you can tell us, but they're so excited for Johnny Gat. Kenzie, you want that one? <laughs> Uh, so at the moment, uh, we are not playing the return at this current moment, but we have plenty of new characters that you can interact with and you can uh, talk to. And even though the old characters won't be there, uh, we've worked really hard to really build on the diversity of the new characters. You have Nina, who is this muscle um, badass who is driving around in her cars. You have Eli, who loves his podcast. And you have Kev, who loves to cook. That's his biggest thing. He loves to cook so much. And even though they're not going to be back, I really love what we've built with the new characters. And I think that there's going to be so much for players that uh, will love, who loves to cook so much. And get the fuck away from my friend. <laughs> Do you have Saints Row 2 style characters in the game? We got it, sir! Good. That's one less loose end. <laughs> no! Area is sanitized. All targets destroyed. Solid copy. No movement detected. New six going into holding pattern. So some new Saints Row gameplay has dropped, and along with the community, your boy RPG is well confused. You see, the gameplay they showed today looks awesome. Good graphics, gunplay looks good, the map looks outstanding, but people are simply confused about the characters in the game. I made a video yesterday explaining what I saw at my exclusive gameplay session at the Deep Silver Creative Collectors event, and the video that they uploaded today was a lot different from what I saw yesterday. I'm just very confused as to why they didn't upload the video I saw yesterday as it covered a lot more ground in terms of things you can do in the game. They teased the wingsuit, the customization, and thoroughly took a look at the new customize the city feature where you can buy businesses, hire managers, and run those businesses to make money slash do unique missions for certain businesses that you build. You can kind of see it here because he built a toxic waste depot. Now he has some toxic waste missions around the city. This is by far the coolest features I've ever seen in a game and they didn't even go over it in today's video. They also showed off some unique districts of the map alongside with some visual representation in game of what they look like. Again, this video I was shown yesterday should have 110% been shown today instead of what they uploaded. Don't get me wrong, the video they put out today wasn't bad at all, but if they had just shown what I saw yesterday and its plethora of things to do in the game to the people, I believe the public would have changed their opinions even more on the game. I noticed a lot more positive comments this time around, which is good. People are starting to realize gameplay and customization is something I'll never doubt Volition's ability in. However, after AOM, I had concerns that their character development had gone astray. Long gone are the days where we see cutscenes that arguably are more powerful than anything I've seen in Hollywood movies. Please, stop. Not so fun when you're fighting someone who isn't tied to a chair, is it? I didn't kill her! You ordered it. But alas, here comes Saints Row 2022 for some all new characters. I can't wait to see what they- Well, maybe- Or sometimes, my absolute biggest concern for this game is its characters. Eli is the planner and an entrepreneur that handles numbers. So that doesn't sound that bad when you think about it. Nina is all about family and is the best driver in town. Okay, so she has potential too, I guess. Kevin? <sighs> Don't get me started on Kevin. In fact, I won't even talk about him. I'll let Volition do the talking. Kevin is shirtless. I don't know why. Kev wants to be a TV chef. <sighs> Next is the boss. Get the fuck away from my friends. Yeah, I know. It's heartbreaking to see. These characters wouldn't last a second in a Modern Warfare 2 lobby back in the day. Fucking riot shield. What else comes? Oh, riot shield. I'm a pussy that use riot shield. I really wanted to see some more moments where the boss seems to be a ruthless psychopath that will stop at nothing for control of the city. But it's too early to judge the boss's full personality based off one line from a CG trailer. I do have a glimmer of hope though, just a tiny one. In the Q&A section of the Deep Silver event 
that yesterday. Jim Boone states, By the time we finished Saints Row 4, we blown up the earth, became the rulers of the galaxy, then in Got Out of Hell, we took over Hell. So we kind of had our fun being more bizarre and eccentric in areas of Saints Row. And so no, we don't have those types of elements in the game. That's not to say we don't have a lot of love and affection for what we did with that, but we very purposely set out to do something that is much, much more grounded, even though it's a completely new storyline. A way you can think of it is somewhere tonally in between Saints Row 2 and Saints Row 3. So that right there is the reason why I still have hope. God, it's really hard to get behind these characters. I keep telling myself, no RPG, don't worry, trust and volition. But then more info comes out about them. Kevin is shirtless, I don't know why. And I just lose confidence. However, due to the fact that Jim Boone said what he said earlier, who knows? Maybe the characters will go through some things during the game and they will slowly develop during the story. I see a lot of people accusing me of being paid off by volition, which is kind of funny to me. In reality, I'm just a true Saints Row nerd at heart and I'm doing everything in my power to think positively. So Volition, if you're watching this, please, please, please release the video you showed me yesterday. It's so good. It'll please a lot of people, including myself. Until next time, this has been your boy RPG. I'm going to go to the store and buy some milk.